Hi everyone, Matt Nomadic Native back with you. Today I've got a pretty exciting video, at least it's exciting for me. I'm pretty much in Nerd Nirvana right now. Uh, I'm going to be installing a Bogart Engineering Trimetric 2030A meter into the coach. Uh, this meter is for monitoring the solar battery bank and uh, having uh, used a little bit and found out exactly what it's capable of doing. I honestly don't know how I ever got along without it. So uh, this is going to be uh, kind of a long video so let's get started. So the first uh, thing I did to uh, get the trimetric meter installed is I mounted the actual meter inside the coach up here with the rest of my solar meters. To do that I just cut out a cardboard template and uh, drew it in, used a drill to drill at the corners and then used a saw, skill saw to uh, cut the rectangle. Now it's time to run all the wires. So I've taken everything out of the cabinets and I've also removed the microwave from over here and I'm going to run the wires the same way that I ran them for the solar panels. I'm going to go through the cabinet, down the wall, come out underneath and they'll come back through the cabinet and they'll go into the bay underneath through a hole that is in the back bottom of the cabinet way back here at the corner. So this is the type of wire that the uh, that was sent to me in the kit. It's uh, 40 feet of 18 by 2 and I'm going to run it all the way down to the bed to the uh, battery bay. This is the uh, Two twisted pairs. You got a red and a black, and a white and a black. Note to self when you're running cable behind a cabinet in an RV, don't waste your time. Just go ahead and take everything out of the cabinet, all the cleaners and stuff, because they're going to get in the way and it's just going to frustrate you. So, take my advice take everything out of the cabinet first. Okay, here you can see the back of the uh, 2030A meter in the coach. Uh, the two blacks are labeled G1 and G2. The white is the signal wire, and the red is the power that's going to the positive terminal of the battery bank. So I got the meter installed for the... Uh, trimetric meter. This is the trimetric 2030A and I installed it right underneath the GoPower charge controller and below that of course is the remote, uh, remote on off switch and meter for the 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now let's go outside and I'll show you how, how I installed the shunt and all the wiring down in the battery bay. Okay guys, we got a bunch of wind here today. Uh, the wind's blowing about 25 mile an hour. And uh, I know you can hear the noise from the fan here inside the battery box, but I wanted to get this video for you. It's the second time I've tried. Let's see how it works out. This is the shunt. Uh, the, on this side, the only thing that's connected to this side of the shunt is this big cable that goes to the negative side of the battery bank. Everything else, including the incoming charging power and the outgoing loads, is connected to this side. These three wires that you see here are the wires that are running to the meter inside the coach. What this is doing is it's putting the power across this shunt and measuring the drop-in power, the, the minuscule drop-in power, and that's where it's getting most of its measurements from. There's also, you remember the red wire, this is the white and the two blacks. 
the uh, red wire is going over to the positive side of the battery bank to power the, the meter. And that's how it's installed. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Uh, the reason I put the shunt here in this location is because this cable coming from the power from the uh, solar panels up top is too short to put it, you know, further over there somewhere. Uh, that may change in the future. I don't know. It seems to be working pretty well right here, and I can keep an eye on it. So maybe I'll just leave it there. Anyway, let's get out of this wind. The last step of installing the Trimetric 2030A is to enter a couple of programming parameters called P1 and P3. P1 is a voltage that is 0.1 to 0.2 percent of the voltage that your charge controller uses for absorption. And I've set mine to 14.2 volts. P3 is the number of amp hours that your battery bank holds. This is the total amp hours. Uh, my battery bank is six Trojan T105s uh, wired up in series parallel providing 675 amp hours of total storage. And that's about it for installation of the Trimetric 2030A meter into our 2004 Winnebago. Uh, for those of you who haven't been with us for very long, uh, the solar power system is 600 watts, uh, feeding a 675 amp hour battery bank that powers the coach through a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, in my next video, uh, I showed you, you know, or told you about some programming that has to be done when you install the meter. I didn't go over any of the use or why I installed this meter, but I can't wait to tell you and show you. So look for my next video. It'll be coming out real soon, and I'm going to go over the details on what this trimetric meter can do. And I think you're going to be pretty impressed. I know I am. Hey, we appreciate you watching our videos. Thanks for tuning in today and spending some time with us. If you haven't subscribed, we invite you to subscribe and follow along. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.